Hello, my name is John Livingstone. I've been an urban planner working for various cities for the last 20 years. In addition to being an urban planner, I've also been in the United States Coast Guard Reserve. One of my favorite things to do was search and rescue during the first 10 years of my Coast Guard career, jumping in ice cold waters in Monterey Bay, 56 degrees. Now, I'm not afraid of much, but I am afraid of one thing. That's right, I'm afraid of sharks. And the best way to get over being afraid of sharks is to jump straight into the shark tank. Here I come. My business is creating the mobile mouse pad. It's the last mouse pad you'll ever need because it's mobile and can be used for anything. Like a normal mouse pad, you can use it at your desk with your mouse. But what's unique, and no other mouse pad has it, is you can use it on the go. You can use it on a plane, in a coffee shop, where things are tight. Now what happened is my shoulder and wrist were just killing me. Like a lot of people have carpal tunnel syndrome and wrist problems. That's why I said there's got to be a better way. So I started using my mouse pad on my lap where it's a completely ergonomic position and relaxes the shoulder. So I created this really flexible go anywhere, use anywhere mouse pad that you can just toss here and it gives you a break during the day. You put your mouse pad down here while you're doing a lot of surfing, uh, the internet, cut and paste jobs. It allows you to just get out of the normal desk position up here. One of the unique things about the mobile mouse pad is that you can park the mouse, go back to the keyboard, finish doing your project, come back, click, so you can constantly have it here to rest your hand and then type and come back. The parking space is designed with a super tacky outside surface. One of the other interesting uses for the mobile mouse pad is the maritime industry. If you've ever been on a boat and noticed a chart table, they have all their computers and electronics and a mouse, but it can be anywhere oftentimes even on the deck. If a boat, a sailboat heels over or a motorboat's in rough seas, the mobile mouse pad will keep the mouse on the chart table where it belongs because of that sticky, tacky surface. I, like thousands of people, had shoulder and wrist problems. My goal, this should not be a fashion accessory. The mobile mouse pad is really a dynamic invention. It is very broad as far as all the different uses it can be. I originally designed it just for myself to help my shoulder and wrist that were hurting me so much from doing all day mousing. My wife said, well, why don't you get a patent on it? So I did, and I have a very broad United States patent that covers anybody that puts anything on your lap that's flexible and like this. This, of course, is extremely inexpensive to make. When I started making them more, I decided that, gee, this would be the type of thing that any large employer would want to give all of the employees that sit at their desks all day as an alternative to getting away from their desk, putting their hand down in an ergonomic position to relax. Insurance companies could promote this to reduce workman comp claims and have people always wearing the wrist pads. It has a huge advertising surface. Anything round you can put in the middle. You can custom make them for companies and put their logo if you'd like. You can do them for holidays. You can make them heart shaped. It's endless what you can do. They can be made so cheaply that it could even be a giveaway, almost like a tchotchke. But since I have the patent and it covers it, you can control this and make millions and millions of these for everyone to use all the time. I'm seeking $20,000 for 51% of my company. Yes, I think my company is worth way more than that. With millions of users, I'm not too worried because a little bit of a whole lot of money is still a whole lot of money for me. As an urban planner, it's taken me forever to do this business on my own. And each thing takes six months to a year to do. There are setbacks. I want to shotgun this idea forward. And with the help of a shark tank, I can get there in a hurry. So the mobile mouse pad is pretty much ready to go. There are a lot of different things you can do with it. 
Um, I've tried to make a package that I worked with Walmart with. They wanted it to be something that people can feel without busting open the package. So I developed this that hangs, has a lot of advertising information, and of course if you flip it over it lets you know immediately with a picture what it's used for and that it's good for home, work, school, travel, uh, on an airplane or for, for leisure at a, a coffee shop, anywhere where your table room is restricted and uh, hangs really nice on the shelf. I'm going to use the $20,000 to make my first really big purchase of the mobile mouse pads. The money is kind of secondary. I could come up with the $20,000. I prefer not to, but what I really need is the expertise from the Shark Tank. I need your connections. But what I want to do to just start things off is use that $20,000, get a big order, the shipment here, and then I can start selling them. I live in Silicon Valley, and all my friends work at the major sites here. I'm pretty sure I can get in and start selling these to companies locally. And then we'll have a proven idea and start to get some momentum moving forward. That's when I'm really going to need the help of the Shark Tank. When I make phone calls, I can't even get people to return my calls. But even if you let me use one of your interns calling with your business recommendation, then I can be hooked up with the right people and not work with someone that's not going to perform and find out six months later. I started inventing things about 20 years ago when I first had my children and they were young. We'd always look at things and say, hey, we can make that. We could do better, so we started making wood shop things and just any toy, we'd make it ourselves. So it, I wanted my children to have that out of the box thinking, problem solving. Well, it worked. Both my children are doing great. My son's in med school, my daughter's in law school, they're out of the box thinkers. We, we have more inventions in the house than, than I could even talk about. Toys, games, medical devices. What's really important for me, though, is to be successful. I'd love to be able to make a nickel. I'd always hoped I could make some money to keep my kids enthused and to show them that I was successful. It never worked, but it didn't matter. My kids are still doing great, and they love the fact that Dad was an inventor. But personally, I want to see something on the shelf and be able to say I'm an inventor. When I tell people I'm an urban planner, no one knows what it is. No one thinks about growing up to be an urban planner. Everybody knows what an inventor is. It'd be also great to make some money. Without a doubt, kids are expensive, education is expensive. I'd rather make it sooner than later. So this invention, getting it on the shelf and getting some income would be great, but you'll also be a partner with me. My go-to for all the other inventions I have in my house including I added one CD of another invention, just a taste of all the inventions we have in this house. After 20 years of doing inventions, all my friends are always curious about them, but I don't think anyone ever takes me seriously. It's like, oh yeah, John, your invention. <laughs> it's kind of a family thing that only my immediate family are really big with it, and anyone outside just kind of thinks, well, it's fun. I want to show those people what being innovative can do and the benefits of trying to think outside the box. My hope is that every person in every office, just like an adjustable chair, you have to have a mobile mouse pad on your desk with all the ergonomic setups of everything else that's required when you start at a new office along with your email. In conclusion, I want to thank the Sharks for investing their own time and money and keeping the American dream alive. If it wasn't for this show, many of us would have no avenue, nothing to dream about. It'd be back to the old grind. But no matter how hard you work all day long at your normal job, thinking about someday maybe I could be on the Shark Tank and my dream will come true is worth almost more than any money you'll ever make. It's the value and keeping it alive and having hope. So thank you very much for that.